What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. We're going to start again with this game. South Carolina down 3-0 in the second quarter. Getting the touchdown there. Again, uh, defensive game here so far. We move on to the second half. Still just 7-3 and they go back to the ground game. It's A.J. Turner for 14 yards out and South Carolina will take the lead. 14-3 now. Jake Bentley going to keep it and he'll run into the end zone. For a big touchdown, and South Carolina will pull away 38-17, to the final score in this game. So they get off to a good start. And also, early on in the season, they're going to face Charleston Southern. They play them week two. That's not a team on the game. So we're going to assume that South Carolina wins that game, and then they move on to a big one against Alabama. And we've already shown you the Alabama simulation, so you may have already seen the results. But for those that did not see that video... We do have to show it, so here we go. 14 all in the second quarter. South Carolina trying to pull off an upset here at home. Last time Alabama came here in 2010, South Carolina did pull off an upset, but Alabama going deep there. Jerry Judy with a touchdown, and the Tide up 21-14. Now late in the first half, Tua Tunga by Lua going to run it in, and Bama is up by two scores. Bentley now trying to answer back. He runs a man over and into the end zone. Look at the effort from Jake Bentley. Alabama now up by 10 here in the third quarter. Bentley going deep. Finds a man getting behind the defense. That's going to be a touchdown. Shy Smith, 70 yards. South Carolina within three. Bama within out of field goal, and they look for more here. Najee Harris into the end zone. That's a touchdown. Actually, that's Brian Robinson, Jr., and Bama is up by 12. Carolina still alive in this game. They get the touchdown. And we have a 40-35 to 35 game. Going to go onside kick. They don't get it. Bama recovers the onside kick. But still, two timeouts for South Carolina, so it's not over. They need a stop, though. Third down and eight. Tua throwing it. And that's going to be intercepted. South Carolina has the football with a minute and six seconds to play. And they have a chance to pull off the upset. Here we go. Second down on the second play of this drive. Bentley connects they're out across the 50-yard line they will need a touchdown though 20 seconds to play Bentley finds a receiver diving around the 10-yard line and it's now second down and 10 15 seconds to play Bentley throws it completes it are they going to get no they are not going to get into the end zone time is running down seven seconds six five will they get another playoff Bentley is going to get a spike off there are three seconds to play here we go game is on the line and it's a touchdown. Ortre Smith makes the catch, and South Carolina pulls off a monumental upset. They upset Alabama. Crazy finish to this game. Jake Bentley had the game of his life. 508 yards passing, six total touchdowns. And the Gamecocks get the win over Alabama. And this would probably propel them to be, I don't know, maybe a top 10 team at this point. 41 to 40 the final score South Carolina taking down Alabama in this one and that if that happens that would uh, that would be a shocker but I don't think it's that crazy you know upsets do happen South Carolina is gonna have a good offense this year it's just a video game though so we'll have to wait and see how accurate it turns out to be next game is on the road at Missouri Let's go to that game. 10-7, Missouri on top. Bentley, a short pass here into the end zone for the touchdown. And South Carolina is up in this game, 14-10. Missouri looking to answer back. Third down and one. Kelly Bryant with the touchdown. Jalen Knox makes the catch, and Missouri is up. We're tied here at 17. Bentley, another short touchdown run for him as he's able to get into the end zone. 24-17 now, fourth quarter. Missouri ball. Larry Roundtree going to take it into the end zone, and Missouri has a touchdown. We are tied at 24. Under a minute to play. South Carolina trying to answer back. Bentley connects, and we are down inside the 30-yard line. Brian Edwards, another huge catch. They take the clock all the way down, and they'll have a chance to win it with this field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. South Carolina takes down Missouri on the road, 27-24. They remain unbeaten. And again, if this was real life, we'd probably be talking about a top 10 team at this point as South Carolina now has knocked off Alabama. Now they go on the road. They beat Missouri, and they are looking good here at this point. Next game is going to be at home against Kentucky. Kentucky's given South Carolina some trouble 
in recent years. We'll see what happens in this simulation. First quarter, Carolina getting on the board first. We've got a 7-0 ball game. Kentucky looking to answer back here in the second quarter as they get into the end zone, and we have a 7-7 game. Now, about a minute and a half to play before halftime. Bentley connects to Brian Edwards again. It's a touchdown, and we have a 14-7 game. They get the ball back after a quick stop, and they're going to have a chance to get more points, and somehow breaks tackles and gets into the end zone. It looked like they were going to run out of time and get no points. They wind up getting a touchdown. And then early in the third quarter, they get another touchdown. South Carolina with that big score before the half really gets some momentum, and they roll in the second half, 38-13, to the final score in this game. South Carolina remaining unbeaten for a huge showdown with Georgia. Again, this probably would be a top-10 matchup if it does play out this way. DeAndre Swift into the end zone. Bulldogs on top first. Still in the first quarter. Georgia, another long drive. Brian Harrion going to run it in, and Georgia's up 14-0. to zero. South Carolina not backing down. They get the touchdown here. Brian Edwards with the catch, and we got a 14-7 ball game. And now Carolina trying to score again before halftime. Bentley connects, and it's a touchdown. Brian Edwards again. He is all over the place. But Georgia in the second half now. Jake Fromm runs one in. Not necessarily a runner, but they maybe... Uh, surprised them there. And then Fromm again with this touchdown. Georgia's up by 14 in the fourth quarter. Does South Carolina have a chance to come back? We'll see. Bentley going down for the sack, and it's the Georgia defense stepping up here as they get after Bentley. Now he's going to try to convert a third down along. It's knocked away. Georgia comes up with a stop. South Carolina does get the ball back, but we're under a minute now. They get the touchdown, pulled within seven, but... Do they have time? That's the question. All three timeouts, they don't get the onside kick, but a quick three and out could get them the ball back. Georgia just looking for a first down, uh, and they're not going to get it, but did they get in the field goal range? That's the question. Uh, this is well within their range. The kick is up, but it's no good. They can't make the kick, and all of a sudden, South Carolina has life. 31 seconds to play here. Bentley in trouble, scrambling around a little bit. He is hit. The ball comes out. Georgia picks it up. And you just got to go down here. But instead, they're going to run it all the way back for the touchdown. And Georgia takes a 14-point lead with not much time left. That would be the game clincher there. 35-21. to So South Carolina loses their first game of the season. It was a great run up until this point. But still, if they get to the Georgia game undefeated, I think it's okay if they lose that one. Next game is against Florida. Malik Davis running it in for the touchdown. Ford is up 7-0. Here's a little short pass. That's going to be a touchdown. Again, it's Malik Davis, and Florida's up 14-0. South Carolina now on the move. Nice little cut, and A.J. Turner with an impressive run for the touchdown. Carolina back within seven. Florida now. Franks fumbles the football, and South Carolina comes up with a big turnover here before halftime. They wind up turning that into a field goal. So we've got a 14-10 game as we head into halftime. Third quarter now. Bentley going to hand it off. There goes A.J. Turner for the touchdown in South Carolina. Takes the lead. We're now tied at 17, and now South Carolina fumbles the football. This is in the fourth quarter, so that is a big turnover. Florida turns it into a touchdown. Felipe Franks from a couple of yards out, and Florida's up by seven. South Carolina still alive here. Third down and eight. Down by seven. Bentley in trouble. And he just has to throw it up. It's knocked away. Now Florida's trying to run the clock out. There's a big run there. That's going to get them into field goal range. Uh, and they just keep on trucking, taking the ball down inside the five. And they would run the clock out. That's how the game would end. Florida over South Carolina, 24-17. to so the Gamecocks, after a great start to the season, now have lost a couple of games in a row. And uh, next they're going to go on the road to face Tennessee. Let's see if they can get it turned back around. It is 3-0 here, South Carolina, making it 10 to nothing. And there goes Jake Bentley. It looks like he's running in slow motion, but they don't get him. And it's a touchdown, 17-0. Tennessee trying to come back here. In the second quarter, they're going to take a shot deep. And that is caught for the touchdown. 
And we have a 17-7 ball game. They get a stop. They get the ball back. Looking to get this down to a one-possession game before halftime. Guarantano going to launch it deep, and that was not a good throw. It's intercepted. And you see, Tennessee had a chance. They had a chance right there to get this thing down to one possession. But South Carolina instead increases the lead before halftime as they connect with that touchdown pass. A Tennessee, though, still fighting. Down 24-13. to They get the touchdown here, and they pull within one possession. They did not get the two-point conversion. South Carolina on the move. Third down and goal. They're going to get sacked and have to settle for a field goal, which means this is an eight-point game. Tennessee on the move. They take it down the field. Guarantano going to run it in, and they can tie it up with a two-point conversion. Here we go. Can they get it? No, they cannot. South Carolina stops them, and now they're looking to run the clock out. Third down and 11. They're not going to get the first down, so South Carolina will get – excuse me, Tennessee will get the football back. Just over a minute to play. There's a big sack there. And now it's fourth down and 18. Guarantano looking. Last chance. Takes a deep shot. It's knocked away. And South Carolina will survive here against Tennessee. 27 to 25. A close game, but the Gamecocks are able to get it done and get the win. Next game is going to be against Vanderbilt. Let's see what happens in that one. Uh, we are here in the first quarter. There is a long touchdown run by A.J. Turner. 52 yards on the touchdown. Now South Carolina again. A.J. Turner into the end zone. And the Gamecocks are up. They're up 20-3 here in the third quarter. Mine Denson's turn to get into the end zone. And they pull away 44-24 to the final score here. So Vanderbilt puts up some points, but uh, not enough as... South Carolina's offense had a big day. They play Appalachian State next. That is not a guaranteed win, but they're not on the game, so we don't have the roster for them. And we're going to assume for the video the South Carolina wins. But again, that's not a guaranteed win. They could lose that game. Next one is against Texas A&M. Aggies down by three, but they get behind the defense, and they're going to take this thing all the way into the end zone for a touchdown to take the lead here uh, late in the second quarter. Jake Bentley again running in slow motion it looks like takes it into the end zone and South Carolina up 14 to 10 Mond in the third quarter now he converts that one and that's actually going to be a touchdown so the Aggies back on top back and forth we go really good game we're now tied at 17 in the fourth quarter A&M going to the fullback for the touchdown and they're up 24 to 17 Bentley looking to answer back all day to throw and he completes the pass and that's going to be a big gain inside the 20 down to the 10-yard line. Can they get it into the end zone? Yes, they will. It's a touchdown. And South Carolina ties it up at 24. A field goal would win it here for Texas A&M. And they get a big play to take it all the way down to the 30-yard line. 42 seconds now. Third down and one. Looking for the touchdown. They're going to get down to about the one-yard line. And they take the clock all the way down. One more try, and they will get into the end zone for the touchdown and the win. A little bit of a risky play there. If the play takes too long, you don't have a chance for a field goal. But A&M does win 31-24, and South Carolina now has their third loss of the season. But they can finish 9-3 and three if they can upset their rival Clemson. They've already upset Alabama. Can they now upset Clemson? And we showed you this full game uh, just the other day. So if you watch that video, you already know what happens with this was a very exciting finish. South Carolina up, then Clemson answering back. We're in the fourth quarter now, tied at 24. We got a close game. Third down and six. South Carolina going to be stopped and have to settle for the field goal. And this is a clutch kick here in the fourth quarter. It's good. So we have a 27 24 game. Clemson now under a minute to play, trying to take the lead or maybe tie it with a field goal. They're going to be sacked. Trevor Lawrence goes down. Third down and 18. This will be a long field goal, but they get a, a few yards here. Not a first down, but get it closer and set up a pretty easy field goal. And with 21 seconds to play, we are tied, and we're going to go to overtime. South Carolina going to the end zone for the touchdown. Gamecocks up by seven. Now, here in overtime number one, fourth down and 11. Last chance for Clemson, and they get the touchdown. So they stay alive, and we go to overtime number two. Trevor Lawrence now with it. What's he going to do? He's going to take off and run, and he's going to take it into the end zone. So Clemson gets a touchdown on their 
second overtime possession. Now fourth down and 12 for South Carolina. Last chance for them, and they find a wide open receiver. Both defenses having breakdowns there on fourth down. We go to overtime number three. Carolina with it. Bentley looking, going to the end zone. It's a touchdown, and they will have to now go for two. Going to the ground, and they're able to pick it up. Pick it up. Gutsy play call there. Carolina up by eight. Fourth down and goal. Last chance for Clemson. It's a touchdown, and they stay alive. T. Higgins again with a clutch catch. They got to go for two now. Lawrence will run it in, and we are headed to overtime number four. Third down and three for Clemson. Lawrence this time going to be taken down, and Clemson would have to settle for the field goal. It's up, and it's good, and we have a three-point game, but if South Carolina can get a touchdown, they'll win it. Bentley. Throws it, completes it. It's a touchdown, and South Carolina has pulled off the upset. Boy, if this happened in real life, could you imagine South Carolina upsetting Alabama and Clemson? I could see them maybe pulling off one of those upsets, but both, yeah, that, that's probably not going to happen. But again, it's just a video game. We'll see. Maybe it does happen. Maybe this game uh, predicts something that nobody sees coming. Probably not, but you never know. So South Carolina going to finish 9-3. and three. Probably not good enough to get to the SEC Championship but still a very solid season, much better than most people are projecting for this team. Thank you for watching this video. If you're an SEC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in SEC football, keep it right here.